disrespect me because you stepped on my shoes, or you disrespect me because you cut in front of me in line. People's universe gets smaller and smaller to the point of where it doesn't take much for people to, 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 to go off because they feel they're different disrespected. same pot on another eye and I turned it all the way up, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. So the difference is that rage is, is more volatile than right. anger. Right. Anger I can keep under control, right. rage I cannot. Right. Right. So, right. You know, right. so, you know, but there's also within this play, there's a there's a term that's being floated around in sociology now called stereotype threat. Um, right? Now, a stereotype threat describes um, what happens to a, a group of individuals if there is a stereotype that somehow has been um, cast on them that somehow, if it, in an academic circle, for example, if you took underrepresented students and had them take a test and say, this is to test your IQ, all of a sudden, their ability to take the test, even if they're top students, right. is affected by the stereotype threat because they're, they're looking at time, pressure, and all of that. Now it gets incorporated into them taking the test, as opposed to them being told, this is just a simple test, just see what you can do. Right. right? And the thing about it is, is that this play addresses stereotype threat. When you start talking about I go to Sears Roebuck to get my pictures and I have my receipt and all of a sudden, suddenly the receipt is not proof enough that I bought pictures. All of a sudden, now I got to have more evidence. I got to have my phone number on the log. You got to be able to call it and, you know, whatever other suggestions there are in order for you to prove something that's very simple, whereas if somebody else of another persuasion walks up, they don't have to qualify themselves. Right. And we know from the beginning of the play, King's phone is cut off. Right. right. So, so this play, I mean, if you think about it, right, in the 19th century, um, if you were a free black person, you had to walk around with your papers. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't, they could sell you back into slavery. So part of what this play plays with is the idea of what what is the paper? What's the what's the sufficient amount of paper for you to be able to find? Right? And they and they, and if they change up the rules on you and you need another piece of paper or you need a phone number, now uh, you use the word control, now you don't have control anymore. And you're going from anger to rage. Right. right. Very different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding so, so, many, so many different mentality, different mentality today. It seems hard. It seems, hard. Hard. It seems, it challenging. seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything, everything else, else is a else challenge. Is a challenge. Um, so, so, I'm ready for, I'm this, ready challenge. for this challenge. And I was built, and I was for, built this. for this. I think that, I think we, that all we all have a purpose in life. life. And mine's, and mine's to going to take on a test that, that most that of us back, 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 back away from. That impossible, that impossible that people, people say is impossible. impossible. I see possibilities. I don't see anything, I don't see anything, I don't see anything, I don't see anything as possible. being impossible. Mentality, there are different mentalities, but just like, just like.